A Madison County man is back behind bars tonight. Just three weeks after being told he was free to go, he hasn't committed any new crimes or faced any new charges. So Fox 59's Russ McQuaid spent the day finding out exactly how this might have happened. Russ? Anthony Short did everything the court and the state correction system asked him to do after he walked out of the prison in Putnamville on February 7th, but it still wasn't enough to ensure his freedom. A few years ago, Anthony Short was a thief and was sentenced to six years in the Department of Correction because of it. Unfortunately, um, at the time, um, I was pretty strung out on drugs. Um, I ended up getting a theft case, burglary. After three years in prison with a clean disciplinary record, a GED and his drug addiction behind him, Short felt he earned the right to ask his judge for early release to the DOC's community transition program. Judge made a decision pretty quick and it was just a straight no. On January 6th, the judge told Madison County Community Correction to keep Short in prison until his sentence ended April 22nd. But the Department of Correction says Short's caseworker never told them. So he was cut loose, only to be taken back into custody this morning after the judge became aware of the mistake. And she's like, you're not supposed to be out. And I'm like, what do you mean I'm not supposed to be out? And she's like, you're not supposed to be out. She's like, you fell through the cracks. Short sober living advocate hopes the community correction miscommunication doesn't set the father of two back into a downward spiral. Can he bounce back from this? I believe he can. I believe his mindset, at least with speaking to him uh, yesterday and all the men in my program, you know, rallying behind him and saying, look, you got this, just come back. I believe he can. Madison County Community Correction says its employee never received the electronic notice of the judge's order, but there were other paperwork and docket checks that could have been accessed. To confirm that information, the director, David Kane, tells me he's looking at some procedural changes to follow up on those issues. In the newsroom, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.